All right, so let's do a simple RL circuit uh, example problem. So obviously we've got a voltage and then we've got an inductor and a resistor. Okay, so um, RL circuit is obviously a resistor inductor circuit, the LB and inductor. So here in this instance, let's um, let's give it some values. We've got 50 mini Henry's. Let's go 1K resistor. Let's go 5 kilohertz. Frequency and we'll go 10 volts RMS. Cool. Okay. So let's calculate the voltage across the resistor, the voltage across the inductor, and the phase angle. This will be of the circuit, right? Phase angle of the circuit. Cool. Okay. So in order for us to find the voltage for the resistor and for the inductor, we're gonna to need to find the current. Obviously we don't have the current here right now. I was about to say we don't have the current currently. <laughs> here we don't have the current right now. So um, we need to calculate the current by finding out the circuit's impedance, right? So impedance, let's go here. Impedance is Z, which is equal to the resistor plus the magnitude of X L, right? Let's make some space. Okay, so XL is going to be 2 pi FL, right, which is 2 pi times 5k times 0 0.05. Let's get our calculator. 2 pi times 5000 times 0 0.05, and that gives us 1570. Uh, well, let's go 15. Really, it should be 1571 because of the 0.79. All right, and then we already have the value of this resistor here, which we know is 1K. So we know that our impedance is 1K plus J1571. All right, so because we're going to be calculating current, we're going to need to divide the voltage by the impedance. So if we're going to be dividing, we don't want to be dividing using this uh, rectangular form. We want to use polar form. So let's convert this impedance that we've got now from the, the rectangular form into its polar form. So to do that, we take the magnitude of Z and we do the square root of 1K squared plus 1571 squared. So we do 1000 squared plus 1571 squared. That gives us 3.4 oh, million. So then we do the square root of the answer and that gives us 1862. All right, so we've got the first part of the polar form. We now need to get the phase angle. So the phase angle is going to be tan the minus one multiplied by one five seven one this value here divided by the resistor which is one k and that's going to give us 10 to the minus one one five seven one divided by a thousand and so that gives us 57.52 for the angle and there we go. Now we have our impedance in its polar form. Let's just make all of this a bit smaller so I have some space. All right, so our impedance is 1862 and an angle of 57.52. Okay. So for us to find the current now, it's just going to be equal to the voltage, which is 10 volts at an angle of zero divided by 1862, an angle of 57.52. And now you see why we convert it into polar form, right? So let's do that. That equals 5.37 milliamps. And then zero minus 57.52, because in polar form, we just subtract, right? So when we're dividing the, the angles, the phase angles here, we're just subtracting that, right? So that gives us 5.37 milliamps at an angle of minus 57.52.
Okay, so this is our current. All right, and then from here, it's super easy. So we're talking about the voltage across the resistor, which is going to be equal to obviously to I times R, which is equal to 5.37 milliamps multiplied by 1000. And it's minus 57.35 for the phase angle plus zero degrees because the resistor doesn't have a, any phase shift. And so you get minus 57.35 on the phase shift and 5.37 times a thousand is just 5.37 volts. So here we have our voltage and our phase shift caused by the resistor. And then let's do the inductor, which is I times J X L, which is going to be 5.37 milliamps multiplied by one five one five seven one. And then it's also going to be minus 57.35. And then this time it's going to be plus 90 degrees phase shift because obviously the inductor has a 90 degrees phase shift, right? So that's going to be 5.37 milliamps times 1571. Divide that by a thousand. And that gives us 8.43, say 44 really, but 8.43 volts. And then minus 57.35 plus 90 degrees. That gives us 32.65. And there we have it, we have the voltage and the phase shift for both the inductor and the resistor. So let's draw our phase diagram now. All right, so we've got our reference voltage here, which is 10 volts. That's our main voltage supply. Now our current is at an angle of minus 57. My, uh, so let's go here, minus 57. Point five two. And this is our current. And this is actually 5.37 milliamps. I've actually done the current too long. Let's just shorten that a bit. There we go. All right, now let's do the voltage in the resistor, which is going to be the same, basically. And this is a 5.37 volts. And this is the voltage VR. And then now we've got the voltage for the inductor, which is slightly larger at 8.43 uh, this is for VL and that's at an angle of 32.65 alright so I've made a mistake in drawing the phase angle for the current I didn't need to do that what I wanted to do was draw the phase angle for the voltage in the resistor so that's uh, minus 57.35. They're pretty much the same if you see like 57.52 and 57.35. So they're pretty much the same. But the reason I've done that is because now when you add these two together, so you add here and here together, then you can see that you've got a phase shift there of 90 degrees. 32.65 plus 57.35. Just do that on the calculator. Thirty-two point six five plus fifty-seven point three five. That gives you ninety degrees. But obviously, in terms of the actual phase angle for the whole circuit, then you'd be looking at this one here for the current, which is fifty-seven point five two. And so, yeah, anyways, regardless, you can see that's slightly over ninety degrees. You add it together, but that would be the phase angle for the entire circuit. And that's it. So yeah, it really is that simple. It's not difficult at all. Just remember the steps that if you're going to try and find out the voltage, then you're going to need to find out the impedance first. And then you can work out the current. And then from there, it's just simple Ohm's law. V equals I times R here and here. And that's it. And you're done. Cool guys. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.